All right, we're gonna create some pads. Pads are one of my favorite things. They're super easy to use, they're very powerful. They allow you to make enemies move in really unique ways, or anything really, in unique ways that is uh, just way simpler than trying to program it. So normally you can go up to pads in a resource tree and hit create path, or you can go into the room and you can click on this. and It will create a path on the room so you can see exactly how it interacts with everything. So we need to select a path and hit create new. It's gonna be path zero. And then we can start making our path. Now I like to snap it to the grid, which just makes it a little sharper. So we're gonna start two boxes back from the, uh, one box back from the right and two down. And we want our guys to come here and then start Go like that. I think that, you know, let's make sure that we kind of end at the same place that we started at. And then we're going to go up here and smooth curve. So now we've got this cool path. It's manipulatable. We could change things if we wanted to, but we're going to leave it like this for now. And we've got it right here. So I'm going to hit duplicate path and it's going to come up in the path editor. And I want to flip this one. I just want to invert it vertically. So I'm going to hit the Y, sorry, hit the Y button, and it inverts vertically. Same starting point, uh, same ending point. It's just flipped up on its head. I'm going to rename that into Path One. Nice and simple. Let's create another path. Actually, since that one already exists here, we can get rid of that layer, or you can keep the layer and just turn off the the eye there, which shows that it's not visible anymore. Let's create another path. Create new. Actually, path two is a great name. We're gonna start right there, go all the way about one, two, five, six boxes back, and then we're three up, one, two, four, five, six. So we're just going to make this like Z shape. And like with the other one, we're going to hit duplicate. It's going to be called path three. Click on this and hit Y to invert it vertically. X would invert it horizontally, but we don't want it to start on the left side. We want it to start on the right. So what do we need to do from here? How do we use paths? Let's go to our enemies. That's for a later lesson. to this whole thing start that from the okay so sorry i was practicing on uh, the lessons and i forgot where i was okay so when you say path start and this opens up all our arguments down at the bottom you can see uh it's asking what kind of path what speed what the end action is and is it absolute the path is going to be we're going to just say choose we're going to name all the paths we have. And what that does is choose says it's going to be random as to what path we use. And it'll just be totally either one, two, three, or four. It's totally random at this point. Then speed is just going to be two. And action is going to say path, action. And then we get a list here of what we want to happen. We're going to say stop. So it's going to stop at the end. But you can have it reverse or keep going or start over. And then absolute is going to be true. Absolute's kind of interesting. Absolute says, let's go ahead and just middle click on path start. It's described as whether or not the calling instance should follow the absolute path as it is in the editor, true, or relative to the path of its current position, false. What that means is when you're in the room, if we say, yes, the path is absolute, then no matter where we create the enemy, they will always start right here and follow along this path. If we say the path is not absolute, if we say it's false, then it will follow this course regardless of where it is created. So, or it will, uh, wherever it's created, it will start this course. So if you started, if you created an enemy dead center in the middle of the room, it would go over here and then it would start the Z and it would go off the screen. Um, you could create it off the top of the screen and you might just catch the very bottom half of the path. But that's, that's what it means to be absolute or not. So we've got 
it can still okay we can still call enemies and it's gonna pick one of four paths let's see how that works so they're choosing path two. Oh no that's three okay see like they're gonna got all these enemies showing up and they're all following their own paths Yeah, there you go. And they've all got just kind of a, a certainly got a neat rhythm to it and stuff. And we can make it a little more choreographed than that, but that's just how you create paths. It's a wonderful tool. I personally love to, uh, paths. So I hope you found this useful. We'll pick it back up in the next one. Thanks. Bye.